Entertainment for tonight's main event. Ten rounds of heavyweight action. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. Across the ring. Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. There's a straight right hand. Punches together, good combination by Crusher. He scored well after being hit himself. Santiago's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. Teddy, I've heard you say it many times before, but the better fighters have a wide array of punches. Yeah, well, you have to because obviously your opponent is going to adjust to what you're doing. You want to keep them off balance. Stay effective. Good step back counter punch there. Beautiful. Scored well up top. He needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Santiago. Crusher's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. I shake it off. Keeping his hands up, getting away of his opponent's effort. Bazooka's jammed by an uppercut. with a straight left. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Crusher's corner was way off. Well, if you're looking to find Baines on the beach, you go out there with a metal detector. Well, right now, we need a punch detector. He needs a punch detector. He needs a jab to find the mark. That straight right unable to connect. Nice solid left hand scored by Bazooka. Rusher's cheek is cut and you can see it's opening up now. Boy, that could be a factor later on. Scoring with the right hand by Crusher. Look at this, another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight, he's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Santiago's bang by an uppercut. Firing off the uppercuts. Great exchange. Good shot to the head with that right hand. That's what I want to see. down the final moments of this round. Good job on the two-punch combo by Santiago. Crusher's probably said, just saw he was able to do some serious damage to his opponent. Yeah, you know what really did it was that left hook to the liver, that body shot. You know, that's like going into a restaurant and you get a stain on your jacket, you know, and the stain just doesn't come out. <laughs> you know, you go to your cleaners, it's still there. Those body shots, they don't come out. They stay with you round after round, and they keep doing damage. They keep paying off for you. He's got the benefit of that body work on for him. Locks that belt line well. Hey, keep your feet moving!
threw the straight right hand, but didn't score with it. There he is zoning in, the old one-two. Santiago's able to land a good, solid left hand. Crusher's cut is not looking good at all. I'm getting the sense that this fight could be stopped at any moment. So the key is where the cut is. When the referee brings the doctor up to look at it, he's going to look at whether or not getting worse will imperil his health down the road. Good flush, straight left hand. Now his opponent got away from that uppercut. Inside, inside! Santiago's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. A good, clean old one-two by Bazooka. Nowhere close that punch by Santiago. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Rusher scoring with that right hand. And Rusher's out in front as we take a look at Teddy's scorecard for the first time tonight. But they're still in a mode of just feeling okay, each other out. Back. Neither man has taken control of this bout so far. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Well-targeted combination by Crusher. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. <laughs> Sending shots to the midsection. Halfway through round number four. Atta boy! Trying to time that straight left hand, and he does so with ease. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Flush shot, it was the overhand left. A crushing two-punch combo by Santiago. Santiago's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Santiago's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Rusher's got to be careful. Close fight. You may be up, but you may not stay that way. He's getting some sound advice from his cornerman. Oh, and there you go. Oh, and he goes down after that punch. And it's been long overdue. He's been leaving an opening all night. Santiago's getting back up to his feet after being knocked down. Great work offensively landing that combination by Bazooka. Crusher's doing exactly what he wants to do. He's an inside fighter, and he's getting right to the inside in these middle rounds. Yeah, exactly, and he knows what to do. See, that half of it is get to where you need to be. The other half is do what you're supposed to do when you get there. He's doing both.
takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. So the second half of this fight has now arrived. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Santiago's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Bazooka's got to figure out a way to do something different here. I mean, I know he's committed to being a counter puncher, but right now he's giving rounds away. Yeah, he is because he's waiting for things to happen that are not happening. You know, he's he's laying back, he's waiting for the guy to walk in. See, to be a good counter puncher, an effective counter puncher, the guy has to come close to you, but his opponent's staying at a distance. He's not giving him anything to counter. Super two punch combo by Crusher. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Fine fundamentals, good counter punch. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Two good jabs by Bazooka. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Crusher. Up top with the right hand. What a difference from the control of this fight, peppering his opponent with power shots. Well, it's been that all night long. Anything he throws finds a target. Keep moving. Keep moving. Good one, too, by Santiago. Rusher's right hand working well that time. He scored well. Well timed by Bazooka. He took a step back, landed the counterpunch. Exactly what he wanted to do. Good flush shot upstairs. That counterpunch was very effective. He scored well. Nice work by Santiago. Not able to connect with the uppercut. Santiago's got to know that things can't continue like this. These middle rounds have not been what he's wanted them to be. He thought he was going to do a heck of a job on the inside, but he's not. And you know, you mentioned something very, very... Interesting. You said he's got to know. Yeah, he knows that he's got to be on the inside, but maybe he doesn't want to be. You know, it takes discipline. You know, it takes risk. It takes the ability to accept that risk to be inside closer to your guy because more stuff's going to come back. Maybe he's taking it the safe way, the easy way, even though that means he's going to lose. He doesn't have enough discipline to win. Precision work with the left hand by Santiago. Solid right by Crusher. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Right to the body. Each man able to land an uppercut. Rusher's on the bad end of a very impressive hook up top. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Rusher's right hand did a nice job that time. This is just a good, solid fight. Yes, he's leading on your scorecard here as we begin round number eight, but there has been some back and forth, some give and take. His opponent has found some kinks in the armor. Namely, that right hand over the jab. That's a good block by Santiago. <laughs> nice work, the left hand to the head. Yeah, you're back, get out of the road. Away from 
A nice block by Santiago. Landing a two-punch combo by Bazooka. How about that left hand? Good job. It was sudden. It was fast. It was direct by Crusher. Crusher's really doing a fine job here, Teddy. And I know everybody falls in love with the clean, effective punching. But you can make an argument that he's controlling this fight right now thanks to his head move. Yeah, you know, it makes me think about that legendary story about the old great Willie Pep, the Will of the Wisp. There was a legend that he actually won a round without throwing a punch just by making his opponent miss, just by ring generalship. Downstairs with a right hand. Bazooka's almost on it. Look at that. He just went down. The infighter went out, and now he went down. Hey, it's okay to go out, but go out the side door. He went out the front door, and as you said, maybe he's paying the ultimate price. Santiago's now getting back up off the canvas. Blocks a shot and then lands an uppercut of his own. And the ref looks at him and says, no headbutting, hands out the warning. Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. And round eight. Close up look. Rusher's cut even looks worse. And it's up to the fighter now, Joe, for his attitude not to change. You know, we can look at it and we can say, wow, that cut looks worse. The fans can look at it and say that. But the fighter must be steady, the same attitude as though he doesn't have a cut. Otherwise, he has no chance of winning this fight. Good work on the outside from him. And that was set up by his inside fighting early, a place where, quite honestly, I expected him to be all night long. But now he's getting the privilege, he's getting the luxury of being able to stay outside a little bit. A well-placed left hand up top. Good biting, snapping shot by Bazooka. Crusher showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. 90 seconds into the ninth round. Now that backhand, the straight left hand, scores well for him. Scored well up top. Crusher showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. That's it. Well-targeted counterpunch by Crusher. Bazooka's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. on the inside. Solid left hand to the head. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Santiago's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Little head hunting with the left. It is the final round. Here we go. Parries that punch intended for the head. Rusher's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Good combination punching out of him here. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like a musical, except right now, I don't think his opponent likes the tone of it. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Hits him in the mug with the right. Scores up top with the left. Good flush shot by Bazooka. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Crusher. To the head he goes with a left hand. Keep moving! Keep moving! Good 
one shot upstairs. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Santiago's combination punching is working well here. Well placed hook there. Rusher's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Lands flush with the combination upstairs. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Yeah! Good work! This was an easy fight to score from start to finish after that effort. Well, you never know in this sport with the scoring, but this is one 